Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel, and we're back at PDAC 2023, this time with Peter Clausey, who is the president and director of CBLT. How are you today, Peter? I'm very well. So, what's happening at CBLT? I hear there's some breaking news on CBLT. Here we are on the shop floor, and we have breaking news. And the breaking news that our option E has cleared its prospectus, which is important news. Yeah. And it's a public domain document. And this is at your Chilton Cobalt property in Quebec? Yes, it's about an hour north of Montreal on the highway. And, I mean, it's called Chilton Cobalt. What mineral is on it? There are four main ones. There are three large target areas hosting nickel, copper, chromium, cobalt. Very easily accessible and accessible to infrastructure. So what we had done is we optioned it to Power Stone, subject to four conditions. Power Stone has cleared three of the four conditions. The fourth condition is they have to do $150,000 of work by next September. And what sort of percentage will you have of the project? At, at that point, it vests 100% in, <coughs> excuse me, in Power Stone. And we will own shares in Power Stone, okay. so it's a win-win. And uh, looking at your other projects in CBLT, you have this Shafford Late Lithium project. Very exciting. <laughs> what can you tell us about lithium? How important is lithium these days, Peter? <laughs> well, this is the mining show of lithium. Uh, well, let's expand it to critical minerals as a whole, but you know, everywhere I go, people are talking about lithium. We put out the results of our latest exploration program at Shatford Lake, and we've received inquiries from other mining companies about partnering, joint venturing, optioning, something. And here at the mining show, those discussions are continuing. They're not brilliant numbers, but they're indicative of an LCT type pegmatite, which is the good kind of pegmatite, and there's more exploration work to be done. Now, one of the interesting things about your property up, up there, Shafford Lake, is its proximity to Tanko Mine, which right. is, is not really well known because it's privately held by a, a Chinese government shell company, but it's actually producing lithium. It's Canada's only producing lithium mine. Give you an example. Down in uh, Bolivia, the Solars grade around 800 parts per million. If you get 800 ppm, woo, the Tanko grades at 2.7. Parts per million, yeah, PPM, yeah. right? So, 20, sorry, 27,000 PPM, not two points, you threw me with the percent. Yeah, 27,000. So Canada's only producing lithium mine is the world's richest producing lithium mine. And in 2017, we let it get sold to the Chinese government. My problem with that is that everything we produce goes over the big red wall and it's never seen again. So your hopes is getting uh, Shatford Lake and the other projects in the area into Canadian hands? Yes. So we're about three kilometers southwest of the Tanko Mine. Uh, there's other players in that area because it's the Bird River Pegmatite field, named appropriately. A lot of drilling there post-World War I looking for tin. And a lot of these properties were discovered by tin drilling. In fact, the Tanko started out as the Canadian Tin and Tantalum Company and eventually shortened over time to Tanko. Um, it also has beryllium, tantalum. Over 100 minerals have been found in that crystal. So that's a rare earth as well. So what are your plans this summer for uh, the Shaffer Lake project? Get back in there, have to do more surface sampling. Uh, we're partnering up with the University of Manitoba and we've extended an offer to the local First Nation to bring some of their younger people with us and show them prospecting 101 and geology 101. Well, that's exciting. Yes. Anything else you can tell us about things going on? See, build, building partnerships with First Nations is crucial. Now, we've been doing it before ESG became cool. Right? It's just the right thing to do. So we're looking to build on those relationships. So you could expect some, investors could expect some news uh, on some sampling and some uh, prospecting from the summer. Absolutely. Um, on that, on the on Power Stone, and of course, uh, the Syscom dividend, which is pending. Which is a, a company that you invested in as a CBLT. Yes. So, uh, anything else you want to comment on before we wrap things up? Uh, you've heard me say this many times. A company can make more money with its pen than the drill bit at, at less risk. Yeah. And we've been able to do that. The company is 12 years old, 70 million shares outstanding, never had a rollback because we've been able to make money with the pen in conjunction with the drill bit. We're looking to continue that this year. Great. Well, thanks for your time, Peter. I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel this year at PDAC 2023.